Hey guys! Hello! So, um, this week, Andy wanted to show off something she's been doing with one of our products. Yep. Um, this is our Quadrature Encoder Kit, otherwise known as Turn Me. And, um, it essentially allows you to use a Quadrature Encoder with only five lines. Um, your power, your ground, A, B, and S. Mm -hmm. And I'll let Wesker explain what A, B, and S are. Okay, S is for the switch. When you press, there's a switch on it. And uh, B and A are the two output bits of the quadrature encoder, and they go through a two-bit pattern of 1-1, one, 1-0, one, um, one, zero, zero, 1, and 0-0. Zero, zero. And depending on which pattern to which pattern it changes to, you can tell which direction the quadrature encoder is turned. So it's a really easy way to change rotation into a set number of steps that a microcontroller or whatever you're using, a Raspberry Pi, it doesn't really matter. Anything that has a GPIO um, can turn rotational information into, you know, somewhere in a line. So depending on when B is 0 or 1 and when A is 0 or 1, your microcontroller can then interpret whether it's turning left or right. Yep. Okay. So um, that's what that is. And so we decided to show a little demo. We've showed a demo before using the propeller um, and showing you uh, just, I think it was values changing, um, right? Yeah. I don't remember. It's been a while. Yeah, value was like values changing as you turned the knob left or right. I've used them for synthesizer UIs and stuff like that. They're really good for all sorts of things, but yep. we didn't have a demo for a pick. Right. So this is a pick. It's a 14-pin pick um, that's relative, I want to say relatively new because the data sheet is uh, it's one of the. Yet. It's one of the new picks. It's not very expensive. In development, but... Um, so what we've done is we've just hooked everything to power, to ground. Um, I've put a chicken head knob. You can put pretty much whatever knob you want on it, but this is what we had laying around. And um, it's connected to a little servo, and uh, we just wanted to show it working. So if I turn it left, it goes left to the end, and then when I press down, it recenters. And then likewise, I'll turn it to the right, and it recenters. So you don't really have to know what you're doing with the code necessarily. Um, we'll probably have it posted. Our friend Peter did it up. It's a uh, yep. pick assembly language. Yep. So it's very efficient and simple stuff. Yep. Um, so here's an example of it working, and it's super simple. Um, we just have obviously the three lines of the servo connected to power, ground, and the signal. The signal coming from uh, the PIC chip, and the PIC is reading the outputs of the quadrature encoder from A and B, and then switch, of course, is also connected to the PIC. And if the PIC sees that the switch is um, pushed down, then it'll automatically recenter. So nice automatic. thing about the turn me there when dealing with micros is that it already has the pull down resistors on the board. Yep. So all of the more complicated wiring of figuring out how to set up that quadrature encoder is already done in a really cheap little handy package. Yep. And it's also breadboard. Obviously, you can see it's breadboard compatible. Um, so five of the pins are completely for structure. So you can put it in any rail and it won't matter because it's not connected to the rest of the circuit. Too true. Yep. All right, you guys can find the uh, Turn Me uh, at uh, tindy.com slash stores slash TYMKRS, and we'll put a link to the pick and uh, to the source code that we used on that pick in the description of the video. Cool. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Bye. Huh. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.